because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We need to get the Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. And. Valentina must hear with the moon about John stepping down. She's been living alone here for what? Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. It's not unreasonable. Luther, think about it. Burn will flying solo. I want all eyes on you. Let's see what she does. And Luther, I deploy the birds and key in on the party area. We're spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a rare privilege. You and Don Yates must be done. Uh -huh. 400 meters. Hey, watch it. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Do any calls? Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. I'd see the tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh. Have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. Makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. 
black as a threat, but also an up. stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught. I mean, you do realise the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this? It's a nice gesture. Now, right. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, you need to start letting me in on things. Okay. Those are Framed an urban legend before. Very close to it. I like it. Keeping it real. Hello there, and welcome to the Yates Winery. Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yeah. Johannesburg. Yes, it was.
Someone else is supposed to be doing this? Welcome to Vignetta Yates. I'm Gabriel Vargas, chief winemaker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but they're all above your pay grade. We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Follow me. Hey. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including a drag-in freezer unit. And last but not least, our grape crusher. Industrial size for your disposal purposes. Interesting. Follow me. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium. In these spacious tanks, which could easily be able to contain a couple of hundred human bodies, the sugars in the wine are converted to alcohol. This is also where we squeeze the must into a fine juice using our grape presser. Fascinating. Come along. Large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak, and each contain up to 500 gallons of grape must. You don't want to fall in, but if you do, at least you'll die happy. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. A eh, Burnwood? Final stop, the barrel room. Nothing dramatic, just wine biding its time. The vault next door contains our most precious bottles, but the access doors are made from ballistic glass and can only be unlocked from the security hey there, room high above our heads. So, unless you're the sparrow, don't get any ideas. Remarkable. Here comes Mr. Yates now. Perfect timing. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. 
As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up in the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the trading wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Hello. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did he... Indians land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon and Ava Perone, unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode? A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds. Come to con- Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. Santino, but no. If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful and his creator, how did he even get his hands on a bottle? I hear the last of the 45s was sold to Sheikh Omar Al Ghazali for $600,000. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a curious. Okay.
Hey, flowers! Over here. Come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. You wanna pass? I check your pockets. That's not up for discussion. Stop twitching. You're not making my life easy here. Okay, man. Vamos. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool-gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, the proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. When the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society an acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, I agree. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. 
Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. And following this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. Got it. What? what? what You're saying? lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You can't be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I'm in. Yes. 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 I agree. Listen to yourselves. Don Yeet is not even appointed constant yet. And already he conspires to betray his master. I don't pretend to understand Edward's every move, but I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. Stand down now or share her fate. Edwards will hear about this. I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Mr. Cortazar. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Tamara Vidal, who saw through the assassin's disguise, was, alas, killed as well. Remember, Flowers, this you never saw a thing. All attested. Not a damn thing. A toast then, in her honor. Savor the taste. Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long.
Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping a crime scene. Like we discussed, remote, staged accident. Oh, and Corvo, make it for two. Just improvise. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Yeah. Turns out this woman will be your downfall. If it's an yeah. isolation, Don, what are you doing, you asshole? Do you stand there? Shoot her! And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick. Uh, Finish it. Uh, 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 such a Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, dress appropriately. Hello, sir. 47. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards, you know how to find him, don't you? 
why Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove, it's... How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin, transposed by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>